I'd like to welcome you to this special, I guess you could say, video review of an episode called New Partners on the Block. Now for some of you that don't know about New Partners on the Block, let me explain to you what it is. It is basically, it's basically a sequel to, um, it is basically a sequel to the pilot Going Bonkers. You know, Going Bonkers is part of was part of Disney's was Disney's uh, animated series on the Disney Afternoon back in 1993. Now, now you might say, well, why is New Partners probably why are you re reviewing this? Well, I reviewed the pilot. So it's only appropriate that I sort of, that I review its, I guess you could say its sequel, if you will. That's why, a sequel. See, New Partners on the Block was two things, a sequel and a transitional episode. The reason it was a transitional episode, first of all, was because it was basically putting Bonkers D. Bobcat, the main character, into a new setting. You see, when the series officially first began in syndication, and you saw the and if you will look and if you saw the pilot going bonkers. Uh, bonkers first partner was Lucky Paquette. While new partners transitions Bonkers from Lucky to Miranda Wright. Now here's what's funny. The Miranda Wright episodes that Bonkers was involved in were actually made first. That's right, they were made first. And originally, Bonkers was supposed to be partnered with Miranda throughout the entire season. Except, 42 episodes didn't make it. That's right, 42 out of what was supposed to be 61 official episodes with Miranda didn't make it. They were, Basically, they were brought back from overseas, and I guess to many Disney executives, didn't look so well. So only 19 of the Miranda Wright episodes survived. Now, you might say to yourself, well, why is that? Well, it's like I said, things came off disastrous. Anyway, the reason New Partners was made was because the original team that worked on Bonkers, Bonkers was replaced by another team. And this team, led by a name, guy named Robert Taylor, knew, I guess, that they needed to kind of bridge the gap between both continuities. So Robert decided, I'm going to take Dwayne's character that he made for the series, Miranda. I'm going to take her, Dwayne Capiza, who uh, you might know from some of the Warner Brothers shows and movies, animated that is. But he was going to take Dwayne Capiza's character, Miranda Wright, and Greg Wismeyer's character, who you might know from Goggles, take their character, put her in this episode called New Partners, and basically bridge the gap and show how Bonkers went to having, went to having her as his partner. Anyway, uh, first, of, anyway, the re now, the way the reason it's looked at looked at as a sequel as well. The reason it's looked at and as a sequel as well, is because, well, basically, it brings back all the characters that you saw in the pilot. It brings back all the effects as well, like the CG, CGI rain that you saw in the pilot episode. It brings back the characters like Fawn Gear, Cheddar's a Dog, Rumble's Grizzly. It introduces new characters like Miranda, in case you didn't see the sneak peeks during the early portion of 93, as well as Sergeant Gray. And also, it transition, and also, it writes out towards the end the characters that were part of the first chapter, I guess you could say, of the series. Anyway, uh, this episode had not been seen on television for over 16 years. That's right. And the only way you were ever, ever able to see it 
was if you lived in another country. Because if you lived in another country, like say Russia or German, Ger Ger Germany or wherever, if you lived in one of those countries, only then were you able to see the episode, even though it was in a different language. Now, the way I was able to see the episode was, well, for the past 10 years, I've been trying to find it online. I went to places like iOffer. I went to places like eBay, hoping people had complete sets of bonkers with all the episodes, including new partners. Not one of them on iOffer or eBay had all the episodes, even especially new partners. Never had it. Until recently, I went online, and I met a friend named Equilan Quill. Now, uh, I have her address right here. Let me uh, show it to you. I have her username, Equit Quill, or Eloquent Quill, I guess you could say. Yeah, that's what it is, Eloquent Quill. It's right there. That's her name. She is on YouTube. And this is the response she gave me today when I told her on Thursday that I got the tape. She sent me the tape on um, Tuesday thinking I was going to get it Saturday, I guess because of weather and, and things like that. But I ended up getting the, the tape on, uh, on, Tuesday, on Thursday, so that's when I recorded it to DVD right here. And right here, if you can see on top of it, I don't think you can, Right here is the episode. It's the first one I recorded on there. Now, now, you, now I have promised her that I will be sending her the tape back along with a DVD copy of the episode and maybe another surprise or two. Now, You're probably asking yourself, why hasn't this episode been seen in over 10 years? Or, not 10 years, but 16 years. I'll give, well, I'll just say in three, I'll just, well, I'll just mention three different events as to give you an idea as to why this episode has not been seen in over 16 years. 95, Oklahoma City. A few years later, World Trade Center. Well, actually, a few years earlier, World Trade Center years earlier, World Trade Center, bombing, 2001, mm -hmm. September 11th. Those three events, in my opinion, I could be wrong, was mm -hmm. the reason that this episode, mm -hmm. and episodes just like it in the other live action and animated series, was taken off the air because of that subject matter. Because the main villain in the episode was a mad bomber who threatened to blow up the city and Unless he was paid billions of dollars in unmarked bills. Well, overall, the the episode is very good. Overall, the episode is tremendously well done, and it's really something you have to see. And I will be back in just a little bit to explain why.